welcome Tuesday morning. Recently I started ice skating and I've been going to like ice skating classes with kids and pretty much there are two six four to six year olds in my class that it's like the same skill level as me but they're both better than me so I've been trying to come to ice skating once a week just for myself to practice but it's pretty exciting um, today I think I practiced like forward backward shifting which I've been having trouble with um, but I fell on the ice today and I haven't fallen in like maybe a year or two it's the first time I've fallen since I started getting back to ice skating so that was pretty embarrassing but you know everyone falls so it's okay I finished my class. It was 45 minutes in a heated room and it's kind of similar to Pilates and you do like very small movements repetitively um, for the abs and your glutes. It's actually one of my favorite class because I'm really bad at cardio. So if I have to move a lot, then I like, I straight away want to vomit. And I can't do it, but this one's really good because you do like small movements. Welcome to another ASMR of me eating Kentucky Fried Chicken. Crunchy skin. I just had breakfast and my mom was like, oh, go check out your puzzle. I did so much for you this morning. And then my dad was like, oh yeah, like you're gonna be out today. So I'm going to help you with your puzzle. I was like, no, it's okay. You're taking all the fun away. Later, I'm going to the gym. Um, and then I'm going to my friend's house to get my lashes refilled. It is so swollen. And then we're going to go out and have dinner. So that's my day. So I was just parking my car 
and today was so busy because it's around lunchtime and I couldn't find a park and then this old lady this old couple came out and they were like oh like this is our spot you can park here and I was like oh thank you thank you so I waited for them and then this like old pedest pedestrian like he knew that I wanted to park there so the entire time he was like standing in front of the spot I want to park and he was like like navigating me was the cutest thing I love old people <laughs> It's like the best feeling after you go to gym. I remember like when I first came first came to this Pilates class, like I couldn't even do most of the things. I could only do probably 70% of the things and I wanted to vomit because I was so unfit. I was probably like, I was probably like the most unfit person I know. But today I finished everything in my class and I was okay. So I'm really proud of myself. You can see my muscle. No, no. We're trying a new Viet restaurant. Bong Yu. This is my first time having Bong Yu. Whenever I go to places that's like, say like a hairdresser or like say a tattoo place, I try to look presentable and I try to dress like myself. So, cause I think like it will help the artist get a gist of my personality and who I am so that they can do a better job. I don't know if that's offensive to anybody, but that's, that's just what I think. Like people, when you meet people, They'll always have like an image of the type of person you are and if you go to them dressed and act like yourself then they can probably create work that's more suitable for your personality i'm here i'm here i'm here so excited i just got my tattoo done actually hurt and it was like a toothpick scratching my skin I feel like a different person I'm officially someone with a tattoo I'm so excited I hope I don't regret this Bye. 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 Bye.
Do I smell different? Do I smell like I have a tattoo? Yeah. Some dresses for her wholesome getaway. I'm never here at this shopping center. I just bought some hand cream. It smells really good. <laughs> this is so cool. I have this dress all This one is very soft. Very soft. We got we how long has it been? Probably no. like an hour. We just came out from the first shop. We're still next to the cafe. I bought a hoodie. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy anything. And then I bought a bag because she bought a bag. It's, it's a cute bag though. Okay. Look at this dress. That's such a your bag. Yes, this is such an Amy style. Yes. What? <laughs> <Stop. laughs> I guess I just want to talk about where I am with my life right now and what I'm doing. Obviously, as you can see, I'm not doing much every day <laughs> at the moment. I don't have a job. I don't have studies. Um, we graduate in less than 10 days and there's nothing more to do pretty much. And yeah, I have no plans every day. I have no responsibilities. Every day I'm just doing things that I want to do. Every day is spontaneous, there's something new. And I'm just so happy every day. I think I'm, yeah, I wanna talk about how happy I am right now. I have zero responsibilities. You know that feeling where you're like snorkeling and you're just like following the water, following the fish, looking at the fish and you're excited. Sometimes you're scared of the ocean, but you're just so happy and you want to explore. That's my life right now. That's how I feel every day. Um, there's nothing holding me back really. Like I've said to my friends, like I'm happy to have a rural job next year if that's available for me. I don't mind being in the middle of nowhere for a year or two because I just feel so free. And sometimes I feel bad. I feel like maybe I should get a temporary job before next year but and that's what I was talking to my friend about and Jenny said to me that like I've worked hard I'm getting emotional so pretty much whenever I tell that to my friends they're like oh like you've worked hard before um, you used to work like every day five five days a week while you had full-time uni and placement so like you shouldn't you should be happy that like you're doing this for yourself and that makes me like that makes me feel so grateful and it makes me so it's so comforting to know like yes i did work hard um for myself and like people around me they saw my effort Mom just bought these crabs. This is yeah, man. Yeah. Here 
wouldn't eat the pineapple flavor the other day so I put it into an ice cube see if he'll like this there you go yay <laughs> so cute no one's gonna steal it I think he likes it <laughs> I'm on the way to drop some crab off to my friend because we got so much and then I'm gonna go buy some dessert with mum this was my work last night. I think I'm like 65% done. This is what I've done so far in like an hour and a half. And I have to take a break from it. I'm gonna vomit. I'm gonna vomit if I sit here and think about it. Last night I slept at like 3 a.m. Cause I was just like watching TV shows. And even after watching like hours of TV shows, I closed my eyes, I tried to sleep and I could still see the, see the puzzle. And all I saw was like bottles, 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 cans, 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 everywhere. So I started watching this um, TV show today and I'm so hooked. I love this so much. I'm already up to episode 5 and I think I'm going to finish it tonight. It's about a girl who is pretty talented at playing chess and the movie is just so beautifully filmed. Like it's set in the 1960s and everything about it is just so beautiful and the lead actor she is so pretty I'm really enjoying this film like the music, how it's filmed, everything highly recommend we're going to alpaca farm with Jamie hi Jamie oh, so cute. say hi Jamie, say hi say hello <laughs> so cute. Um, so, how's your experience? I thought we were here for the kids. Melanie, you're away, ma. And then Jamie's like, Jamie, Jamie! So tired. Looking after children, it's so tired. Even though, even though I didn't even do much, I was just being there mentally draining. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Dad, you look so good. We are here for barbecue and cold noodles because it was so hot today. Mm. This is what I've been craving all day Korean <laughs> cold noodles. You got 
I'm on the way right now to a hot pot for my friend's present. Okay. 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 Okay.